Ken Stewart, Vice President of Business Development for Proteon Electric, explains how Proteon's in-wheel motor design places 100 horsepower inside each wheel, offering huge potential for power increase with fuel consumption decrease. This is an in-wheel motor designed to be an in-wheel motor, so it's really a very different configuration from any other kind of motor you've seen. Most motors have a shaft in the center, and that's the part that spins, and then that's called the rotor, and then the outside part is the fixed part called the stator. But what we've done is we've basically turned the motor inside out, so the rotor is now on the outside. That's this green part here, and that spins, and then the stator, the fixed part, is a back plate with all the electronics that are used to actually control the motor. So they're actually inside. So if I had a, a wheel and tire and I put it on an automobile, I just put it up and then you know put the, put the lug nuts on. You do the same thing here. You put it up against there and then the lug nuts are right here. So all we're doing is putting in 100 horsepower into the space that used to be just air behind, behind the wheel. And the magic to this, and there's several patents involved, is that we've actually designed it so that the electronics are inside and that makes it very easy for automakers and tier ones and, and other companies to think about how it could be integrated to a car. Uh, with 100 horsepower and, well, let's see, if you go metric, it's 80 newton meters, 80, 80 kilowatts and then 800 newton meters of torque and that's enough for two of these to drive a large car like this Brabus Mercedes down the road as a pure electric car. Now, speaking of which, um, this car, um, this is a uh, what's called a Brabus Hybrid, and it was a hybrid project. This, this was a company that is known for luxury performance vehicles. They actually start with a Mercedes, and then they put more horsepower in, more luxury in, and sell it as their own brand called Brabus. So they came to us and they said, we do horsepower, we do luxury, we do high performance, but we now want to do it in a different way. And we want to go at it with more of a uh, look towards advanced technology to save fuel and do it responsibly. So they came to us, we worked on this project with them in cooperation with them, in cooperation with Mercedes, and there's only three cars like it in the world, and there's only one in the U.S. like it, and that's, that's this one here. This just came to the shores of the U.S. about two weeks ago. And this is actually a hybrid car. There's a diesel engine in the front that powers the rear wheels. And then we have one of these Proteon electric motors in the back of each of the two rear wheels. So it's a total of bolting on 200 horsepower on top of the diesel engine that's already powering the car. So the, the rubber in the rear will see power not only from the diesel engine, but also from the electric motor. So that, that's what makes it a hybrid. There's two other cars that are sister ships to this only their powertrain is different. Instead of a hybrid system with a diesel engine and two electric motors in the back, it's actually a full electric car where the whole engine system has been removed. Then we took four Proton electric motors, put one in each wheel, and then put batteries in to make it a high performance electric vehicle. So now you've got room for five, full luxury, full trunk, and the thing just goes like a rabbit as a pure electric car. It's, it's really something. 400 horsepower? 400 horsepower, you got it right. I mean, it's just times four of 100. So it is an amazing, powerful car that really gets the job done. And I think it showcases how capable the motor is and also how it has an ability to, to adapt to so many different vehicles so successfully. It's, it's really a cool idea.